Previously on the bill. Well, who did David Randall kill? My wife. Really, Polly? I feel good about this. Good about what, Owen? My choice to die. What were you doing? I was putting him in the recovery position. He's unconscious. I've called an ambulance. What? Get off there! Get on! Hold you up, yes, mate. Get away from me! Right, I'm coming out here now! No, he's not. What happened? Come on. I reckon you put the fear of God into them. Well, I don't know about that. You know how many times a week I have to deal with louts like that? You lot don't have a clue. The ambulance should be here any minute. Look, your doctor was coming along, eh? I mean, what's the chances of that? <sighs> I have no idea. You saw who attacked him? Uh, only his back. He ran away when he saw me. It'd be really helpful if you could come down to the station, give the idea whatever description you can. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. If you need to get back to your surgery, I could get someone to come to you. No, it, it's okay. I'll, I'll do it now. Not much of a mugger if you left this. Oh, yeah. David Randall. Hey, you look like you haven't slept. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's Owen, isn't it? You can't be up all night looking after him and then come in and do your shift. He doesn't need looking after. Not yet. So what then? He's thinking about taking his life. Seriously? I mean, what if he goes through with it? Well, he's terminally ill. Yeah, but he's got so little time left as it is. I mean, to think about cutting it short. Has Owen asked you to be involved in this? Oh, of course he hasn't. I just care about the bloke, that's all. Exactly. You're way too involved. If he's serious about this, you should be getting out now. Ah! I don't have a controller and cab today. Can you stand in? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. Take your mind off things. Uh, if this is about Luke, he's gone. That's it. I just want to get on with the job. Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything else. Off you go. Yeah, I can. This is Dr. Owen Preston. Oh, cheers, guys. Dr. Preston, thanks for coming in to give us a statement. That's OK. If you just wait a moment, uh, DC Becker will take care of me. What do you drink? Morby, man. I'll have a coffee, please. Any idea how the victim was injured? Well, he looks like he's been hit and fell back on the pavement. What, you think it was a mugging? Well, if it was, the victim's wallet hasn't been touched. Mm. OK, thanks. Dr Owen Preston? That's right, yeah. OK, I'll take upstairs in a minute. Des, what's he doing here? Bit of a good man and helped us without a assault victim. Who? Yeah, some guy called David Randall. So... Oh, I need to speak to him. Hey, hang on a minute. You can't just go barging in here. How do you know the doctor anyway? I just do. Come on, you're going to have to give me more than that. Des? I'm all ears. I live with him. All oh, right. You're a bit of a dark horse, aren't you? We're housemates. As if. We are. You've got to come up with something better than Des, that. Come on, Des, let's get back out. Slave driver. Not really. I just want to finish the shift on time and catch the fuzzy highlights. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. Liverpool's greatest damn chair supporter. Last European Cup victory 1984. Best European goal scorer was Ian Rush, now Michael Owen. All right, know it all. You won't do it, we hope. He knows where the players buy their socks. Hey, the next time they play in London, why don't we all go to the match? Yeah, well, I'm always a bit busy, aren't I? Yeah. Never mind. Kathy. Kathy. Kath. Owen's here. He's assisting on an assault. How are you? Look, can I have a quick word, please? The victim is David Randall. Oh, Owen's cousin. Well, not exactly. What do you mean? Owen lied. David Randall is the man who killed his wife, Mary. And you gave Owen the address? Well, Owen swore to me. He just wanted to talk to him, lay some ghosts to rest. Well, he certainly did that. Yeah, Owen wouldn't beat him up. Owen said himself he wants to die. What would he lose by taking revenge? Yeah, well, if I could just talk to him, let him explain. I'd be thinking less about Owen and more about yourself. 
If somebody finds out you did that PNC check, you could lose your job. So you, uh, you came round the corner and you saw Randall fight him with this man, yeah? Uh, the guy punched him and Randall hit the pavement. Sugar? Thanks. Uh, so you got a good look at him, yeah? No, he, he had his back to me. Well, the whole time? I think so. But you're not sure? Well, it all happens so quick. Are you all right? Do you need to stop? No, I, I'm fine. I take it that you've never met David Randall? Oh, what makes you say that? It's just a routine question. No, I've never met him before in my life. Boys, what are you doing? Trying to get yourselves into trouble? What are you saying, crop up? I've got to arrest you, you know. You're causing distress to others under Section 4 of the Public Order Act. Get real, crop up. There's three of us and one of you. Get lost. Who the hell? Big man, no. Come on, here we go. Come here. The man's got his money. What's his problem? Do you want me to move these boys off the bus? You think you could? Right. Hurry up. Well, just shut up, man. Yeah, customer's always right, man. I mean, Brian. Is your name Paddy? Or is it Paddy O'Brien? Move along. <laughs> Any more trouble from you and I'm kicking you off. Like you did yesterday, in the pouring rain. I mean, we could have caught pneumonia, man. Is that what this is all about? They were fighting in the aisle. Look, if you boys were causing a nuisance, the driver had every right to put you off no, his look, back. what we did was an accident. Well, Brian, he got a buzz out of it. If you mean giving you kids what you deserve, then yeah. You get me? It's talking about black kids. Brian, you don't respect us. It's a racist, see? What are you talking about? I don't care if they're black, white or purple. <laughs> kids like these causing trouble. Make everybody's lives a misery. Someone ought to put a stop to it. You really gonna believe that? And you think just because you're black I pick on you, well it's not. That's you never behave yourself. You know you Why don't you do something about this? She's supposed to be looking after him. Come on, darling. There's no point getting upset about this. I'm sure your friend's being very well looked after. <gasps> So why is he covered in cuts and bruises? The warden said Fred had a fall. Twice in as many weeks. He is 82 years old. Come on, have a seat. We'll have a cup of tea and we can talk about this. Do you take milk? Oh, are those Gary Baldies? My nan used to tell me they were made out of squashed flies. You know, there really is no point in getting stressed out about this. Would you like one of Winnie's fairy cakes? They are quite popular, I suppose. <laughs> So what does Fred say about his bruises? He says it was an accident. So why don't you believe him? Because he's been behaving very strange lately. In what way? I think he's scared to tell the truth. You know, you remind me of someone. Really? He's a nice young man on the television. I think he's Australian too. <laughs> <laughs> so what's he afraid of? What's scaring Fred? The person who did this to him. To him? Have you tried asking Fred if anyone has heard him? He won't say anything. They've got to him. I know they have. You have to stop this happening to him. To him? Stop Shh. it. Shh. Okay. We're going to send someone down from our community safety unit. They'll look after it, so please don't worry. Honey, let's go. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Why? You went to see David Randall? Yeah. What, to ask him if he was sorry for killing Mary? Oh, I never got a chance. By the time I'd reached him, he was already unconscious. So he didn't see you? No. How do you think he'll react when he finds out you were there? I don't know. Why all the questions, Polly? But you don't think he'll find that suspicious? Maybe. It's a bit of a coincidence you turn it up like that. You think I assaulted him? You really think I'd do something like that? Well, just try and see this from my point of view. No. If you don't trust me, then our friendship isn't what I thought. It doesn't mean anything. Look, come on. I've asked you nicely to sit down, haven't I? 
I'm asking now, I say, to sit it down. You can see if you want to. You really got down on the control. Yeah, all right now, lads, come on, this is your last warning. What are you going to do, proper? Turn into the Incredible Hulk? No, I'm going to radio for assistance. Yeah? yeah. Come on, give me the radio back. Come on, let me have the radio back. <laughs> Street radio, yeah? <laughs> That's it, it's your last warning, OK? Off my bus, or I'll make you wreck it. Leave it. Don't go tell him. Don't do it. You, over there now. Don't try anything funny. It's you. Keep it as long as I can see it! Don't move a muscle! Alright, everyone, just stay calm. Alright, look, just put the gun down. Please! Don't shoot! Look, you're scaring people. You've really got their respect. You can stop this now. No way. You're out of your depth, copper. Hey, you got that right. I want to know what you're planning to do. Have some fun. Move, Paddy. I'm not going nowhere. Do as he asks. Do you want me to shoot you? Now get over there. Give me the phone. He asked me, is it not my phone? Yeah, sure, don't worry. Right. I want everyone to hand over their phones. There's everyone down from our stairs. Go get the phones. Now, what do we have? Uh, ladies? Now, come on, hurry up. <laughs> Should fetch a bit. Phones, please. What are we waiting for? Ain't we gonna drive? I oh, know. We were just supposed to wind this guy up, not this. Yeah, but you get to drive a bus, man. No. Come on. It's just... Drive for you. You sit down now. Hurry up. You next to him. Get in the seat. I mean, I've practically accused him of beating Red up. Well, I think it's a blessing in disguise. How do you mean? Well, it'll save a lot of vomiting. Hey, Polly. I've got a case for CSU. It's a suspected assault and melting man in an old people's home. Right. Uh, it's probably nothing, but it's all on computer. Do you reckon you can deal with it? Yeah, fine. Cheers. Leaves us to get back to some real police work. Ooh. Then I suggest you stay with PC Page, Cameron. You might learn something. Honey, you can get in the car with Gary. Come on. Naughty boy. You all right? Yep. Oh, sorry. Bit of a shock, Luke, leaving so quickly. Oh, why drag it out? I've already made up his mind to go. So you didn't try and talk him out of it? No, of course not. I mean, why would I? It's the best thing for both of us. I can get on with my life. Oh, I thought you held your own, Pen. Yeah, I should have arrested them all for verbal abuse. Oi! That's my chair. Get off. And on top of it all, we still couldn't find anyone who saw Randall being attacked. I know, it's a bit odd, isn't it? There's oh. so many houses overlooking that street, yet no one saw anything. Yeah, well, that's the luck of the draw, babe. We still don't know why Randall was attacked. we we'll do some background checks, see if anything comes up on the system. I want to rule out any kind of personal revenge attack. You've been watching too many Agatha Christie's, you know that. Oh, yeah? Come look at this. <laughs> Causing death by dangerous driving. Well, someone's got a reason to dislike Randall. You think it's a voice from the grave? I doubt that somehow. Let's see if we find out who the victim was. See if I can trace any living relatives. Pity. The ghost hunting kind of had the edge, you know? Very funny. Very funny. Oh, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Come on! Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa, look at this! Oh, go look. Hold this. There's only two of them. Go for it. He's right there with now before the other one comes back. Now, look, now he's holding a gun. Looks like a converted replica. Now, last week a kid blew his hand off with one of those. I don't want anyone else to get injured. But just let me deal with it. 
hospital. What do you want? You. Look, this isn't a game, all right? You could have killed someone. <laughs> It'll be OK. Yeah, what if it isn't? What have you been telling him? Never mind that. Till I killed the kid. <laughs> nah, it's cool. The pram is just full of newspapers. <laughs> now sit down! Fred's a very private person. He doesn't allow many people in here. Hello there, Fred. Polly Page from Sun Hill, and this is PC Tate. Was there uh, something important, officers? I want you to show them your bruises, Fred. Come along, Fred. Show them. I fell over the other day in the uh, corner shop. I, I don't know why you're making all this fuss. We just want to make sure you're OK. How did you fall, Fred? Uh, well, it was over uh, a loose uh, paving stone, I think. I thought you said it was in the shop. Yeah, yes, I mean, that's what I mean. OK, well, thanks for your time, Mr McCormack. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We'll make a few inquiries and have a word with the warden here. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't this a waste of time? No, I don't think so. Oh, Polly, come on. It's no big deal. The old guy's losing his memory, that's all it is. Yeah? Well, you just wait till it happens to you. Anymore. I'm going to get out of here. Will you sit down? Let me help you. Sit down. Yes, my son. Move out the way. You don't calm her down. I will shoot her. Can't you see she's not well? Breathe. It's all right. Relax. Shut her up. You got a problem with Brian? Not with any of us. Look, look, look. You're going to abandon me. I'm going to abandon you. I'll stay with you. Look. Let all the people off. Come on. Yeah, but if I do that, we'll have a lot of cops in our town. You think my colleagues aren't already on to this? They'll be all over us. Listen, see sense. Let all the people off. Come on, let her go. She might die. Come on. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Relax. Breathe gently, gently, gently. Relax. It's all right. Everybody off. Right, come on. Hurry up. Get on. Come on. Come on. Relax. Get on. Come on. No, you're staying here, old man. Sit down. Tell you what. You've let him off. Let him off as well. And I promise you I won't pull any fast moves. No. Why not? No! Captain Hyde. What? Got the name of the victim Randall killed. Who? Mary Preston. As you know him, Preston? Yeah, his wife. She was on her way to work when Randall's car ploughed into her, killing her impact. Drink driver? Yep. Apparently he'd been out on a bender the night before, just to live the limp the next morning. Gives our Dr. Preston a hell of a motive for beating him up. Exactly. I thought he looked a bit nervous when I asked him if he knew David Randall. Right, let's go get him. So you agree, Fred McCormack is just accident prone? Maybe. Oh, come on. You heard what the warden said. Anne and Fred have been friends for years. She likes to fuss over the guy. Yeah, well, if Fred doesn't want to make a complaint, there's nothing else we can do. <laughs> Hello! It's that nice young man again. Hello, Winnie. Hi. <laughs> is everything all right? It's fine, thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Doesn't it remind you of that man on the telly? And I remember now who it is. Who? It's a man who wrestles with crocodiles. Oh. Very brave. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. They let you off the bus on Peckett Street. OK, we'll send an officer over right away. Thanks for your call. I've just heard. We've been swamped with calls from passengers. And you're liaising with the yard and a greater London bus company? Yeah. The bus has an automatic vehicle locator, so providing it stays en route, the bus company can give us its location when it hits the next beacon. And a gun? Well, it's some kind of handgun. Right, I'll check with CID. It could come from that stash on Coal Lane. And um, who's on the bus now? Just the kids? No, the driver and a male police officer are still on board. Which officer? One of ours? We don't know yet. Right. Do a radio check. And account for everyone. Is? I thought I gave you everything Dr. You Owen Preston, I'm arresting you on suspicion of assault. I don't understand. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you may later rely on in court. Let's file it. CID have found out Randall killed Owen's wife. They brought Owen in. He's in custody. Why? He didn't do anything. He could have lied, Polly. No, he was telling the truth. Look, the point is, it's only a matter of time before they connect you with him. And if Owen tells him you gave him the address... Yeah, well, he wouldn't do that. He's made it pretty clear the friendship's over. I hope you're right. Owen and Preston. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's all right? Well, he's a doctor. He should know, shouldn't he? Yeah, but he just seems so frail. Look. He doesn't look strong enough to attack anyone. Juliet. Ken. Yes, ma'am. 
Those guns from Trent's mob on the Colville estate. Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute. What about them? Well, are you still clearing them up? Well, after the raid, SO19 did a big sweep of the area. Well, it obviously wasn't thorough enough, because I think I've got a couple of kids waving one about on a bus. Yeah, well, you could buy one of Trent's guns for the price of 40 fags, so it's still possible there's some floating around. Oh, great. Looks like I'll be clearing up this mess from Trent's army if you're ever. Uh, sorry. Well, see you later, Ken. Calm down, it's just not going to take people in these sort of situations. Thugs. They think pointing a gun at someone makes you a man. Well, you're not going to be here any minute. Why shouldn't I tell them what I think of them? Wait, 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 what does he mean? They'll be here any minute. He means my colleagues are going to be looking for the bus. Well, I don't see them. Paddy, you sounded pretty certain to me. He was guessing, mum. You haven't a clue, have you? What's just like this? Have an automatic vehicle located. The no, police no, know exactly where back. we are. All right, and where is this thing? Look, you better start talking. Tell me where it is. Anybody there? Mr. Policeman? 171, that's Reggie's radio. You've hit the panic button. Is the officer harmed? How did you get the radio? Do you know where the officer who owns it is? Reggie's on that bus. Sierra Oscar, we have a location for the bus. Wellbank Road, travelling towards Bagford Road, Industrial Estate. Over. Get all our units and SO19 over there now. Come on, now! Locator. You can't get to it. It's under the bus. All right, so why not stop it then? Come on, tell me! I bet that gun isn't even loaded. I'm sure it is. Where'd you get that? Oh, On the coal lane. They can backfire, you know. No. Very unreliable. Look, never mind that. I'll ask him a question. You better tell me. No way. He's bluffing. That gun isn't real. It's one of them BB guns. Read about them in the paper. Is that what you think? You see those? I'm going to ask you one last time. Where's the locator? The system only works if we stay on the bus route. What'd you tell him that for? Do you have reshot you? Come on, off this road quickly, man. Oh, where, where I to? Don't know, just take it to some bad road or something, man. I don't know where you're going. Carl, I do not want to get caught today. I'll take you off anywhere. We've lost the location of the bus. It didn't hit the next beacon, so it must have gone off course. Try Sergeant Murphy. Sierra One must be within spitting distance. Sierra One from Sierra Oscar. Have you seen the bus? Over. Negative, Sierra Oscar. I don't believe this. We were so close. How did we miss it? Just because you've moved off the route doesn't mean that they won't find us. I don't see any police cars. Uh, they're on their way. Don't kid yourself. Tell her. Uh, I don't even know your name. Red in this shit. Hey, look at this. Smart, you're on CCTV. We forgot the camera, man. Who can see us? Well, come on, I want to know. Who do you think? Look, the camera feeds back to a hard drive on the bus. He's lying. Look, I'm telling the truth. No one else can see us. Leave it alone. The gun's backfired. You've shot him. What happened? What happened? We should have a helicopter or something looking for him. We could have been shot. Look, thinking like that won't help anyone. We need to keep our heads screwed on and stay calm. That's easy for you to say. It's not your mate who's out there. Reggie's one of my relief. I don't want to see him hurt any more than you do. Well, come on, let's go. We've talked to residents and nobody saw an attacker leave the scene. There was just you, Dr Preston. I was trying to help him. <laughs> Were you? You see, I'd have thought Mr Round would be the last person you'd want to help. He killed your wife, Dr Preston. Yes. Is that why you lied? Told us that you'd never met David Randall? Well, I knew how this would look. But you have to listen to me. I only went to talk. Why? I wanted him to say sorry for what he did. <laughs> and you expect us to believe that? The man's lying in hospital. How did you know where Mr Randall lived? I looked in the phone book. Oh, don't mess around. Randall isn't listed. He's only just got out of prison. So how? I found out when he was going to be released and followed him home. So you planned this some time ago? I mean...
mean, yes. But I didn't attack him. Can we uh, stop for a moment, please? Are you not well? I just need to stop. Okay. What was he doing, man? Why did he get in the way? I didn't mean to shoot him. You can't believe me. It was an accident. OK, I know you didn't mean to shoot him, but now he's going to need medical attention. We've got to stop the bus. It's right, man. Keep driving. It's gone way too far. Keep driving. You're going to be all right. It's OK. Look, he's losing a lot of blood. I need something, some padding to stem the flow here. Get me something. See what's in that bag. Are you listening to me? Wife said, oh, I should have left the buses years ago. This isn't the first time, you know. I was hit with a baseball bat four years ago. Shook me up for weeks. He's losing a lot of blood. What are you going to do? We, we take this bus someplace quiet and then we dump it. You can get off and then you can get Brian into hospital. That's the worst thing you could do. He's going to bleed to death before that. Me and my friends have just decided yet. Yeah? Got to get me out of here. Don't worry, I will. Mr. Randall, do you remember your attacker at all? He was a big bloke. Black hair. Had a dragon or something tattooed on his neck. <laughs> Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. We think we know who your attacker was. A resident chancer. Gets about a bit. Lucky me. Oh. Out of interest. Do you remember the person who came to your assistance? No. I was out cold. I'd like to thank them. It was Dr. Owen Preston. Mary Preston's husband. It can't be. Why would he help me? We don't know. But if I were you, I'd just be grateful he did. Well, no, I'm done. Hey, you work with the shop people, sir. I've never before in my life. Well, I'm I sure, but let me stop very tempting. There wasn't anybody else involved, you know. I just couldn't help myself. You're just having one of those days. I get them all the time. Oh, they make a terrible mess. Well, don't worry about that now, eh? We'll look after oh, you. Oh, the warden's really very annoyed. Can I come to the station? Of course yeah. you can. You come to the station with us and we'll call it from there, all right? Get your seatbelt on. I never saw you as a Florence Nightingale type. There's a lot of sides to meet you unseen yet. Yeah, I'll bring him in and have a chat with him, yeah? Oh, Ken, you're working on the David Grand or so. Yeah, we're just going to open some news. Cheers, mate. I've got some information for you. Well, is it important? I think we found our suspect. Oh, yeah? Who? A guy called Graham Marshall. He fits the description that Randall gave us, and he's got plenty of form for street mugging. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, what was it you were going to tell us? Oh, just that Owen's a friend of mine. Oh. Is he all right? He doesn't seem too well. Oh, he's terminally ill. <laughs> Poor bloke. The last thing he needed was to be wrongly accused of a crime, Ken. Yeah, you could say that. Owen. Owen? Owen? Oh, what are you doing here? Shoplifting, would you believe? Store detectives caught our stuff in Sherbet Lemons in her rucksack. Oh, surely the shop's not going to pursue it. Look at her eyes. No, they're really good about it. They don't want to take it any further. Never mind. I mean, not with the way she is. Where do now, I... Where's that nice young man who was with you? She's a bit confused. Dementia or something. <laughs> it isn't anything to do with Fred. It's not his fault. What, the shoplifting? <sighs> oh, that as well. <laughs> as well as what? I don't understand. Come on, Winnie, why don't we have a seat and talk about this, yeah? Yeah, come on. Shop it, eh? Do you like a sweetie? <laughs> don't you go giving all them sweets away. Save some for me. Oh, you know you've got lovely hair. They used to have plaits when I was a little girl. Oh, do you like them? Yeah. Now, you tell me about this Fred. He's a good friend of yours, isn't he, Winnie? Oh, yes. He's a lovely man. So you don't want to get him into trouble? Well, I'd rather not. Did Fred make you do something you didn't like? No. No, no, he makes us all very happy. You know, he sounds like my old granddad. <laughs> he used to get up to all sorts. <laughs> Bit of a character, is he? <laughs> He's very popular. <laughs> well, my granddad used to own a secret distillery back in the war. He used to make and sell slow gin. Now, he was very popular. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great, innit, eh? But the bus, <laughs> Inspector Goldwater, is back out as soon as possible. Thanks, can, can you sort it out? Yeah, well, I think I might give this Fred another visit. No, 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 no. You leave him alone. He isn't causing anyone any harm. Look, he's a good man. Oh, dear. Hey, 
Oh, okay. uh, I've got a damning hand, I'm afraid. Oh, let me get that for you. Is it all right if we step in out of the rain for you? Oh, oh yes, come in. It's just that we've been having a word with Winnie. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, and we were wondering, is there anything you might like to tell us? No. Uh, why would I? <laughs> well, it's just Winnie's given us the impression that you might be doing something illegal. Uh, <coughs> that's nonsense. <coughs> so if I was to ask around all the other residents, they'd say the same, would they? Uh, yeah, yes, of course. <coughs> so I'm going to get you a glass of water, Fred. <laughs> no, 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 I'm fine. No, you're not saying I'm fine. Is this the bathroom? No, no, I don't want a glass of water. Let's stay out of there. Regular greenhouse in here, Fred. Yeah, for medicinal purposes. Uh-huh. What? Helicopter will soon spot him. Poor Reg. I wonder how he's handling it. He'll be fine. He got a bravery commendation for that time he was kidnapped by Simpsons, lad. Really? Oh, yeah. You stood up to him, Reg, did you know? Reg, jolly say. Who'd have thought it? He's not exactly Keanu Reeves, is he? Well, it's hidden depths, isn't it? Do you, uh, like the heroic type, do you? What girl doesn't? Good looking. Good sense of humour. Definitely. I guess that's why I love my Fletch so much. He always makes me giggle. Cannabis? What on earth possessed you? I knew you wouldn't approve. <laughs> Anne here is a member of the uh, Have No Fun Club. <clears throat> you don't have to take drugs to enjoy yourself. I know, but I was curious. You hear about young people getting excited. <laughs> Wonder what the fuss is all about. Now you know. I know it's illegal. But we weren't doing anybody else any harm. It felt right for us. Us? Well, who else takes the drug? There's Winnie, Joe at 23. You do realise it's a serious offence to supply other people with drugs. But I'm not a dealer. They only pay me in tea and fairy cakes. With an extra ingredient. What were you thinking of? Well, you know what it's like getting old. Your body begins to pack up on you. <clears throat> it doesn't mean that everything else follows suit. You still feel young on the inside. The cannabis has helped us. Given us a new lease of life. You tell me. What's wrong with that? I'm afraid, Fred, that I'm going to have to arrest you. Uh, so you will have to come to the station with us. Right, you are. But I can speak to the custody sergeant and make sure he's lenient. In the meantime, we'll have to destroy the plants. Oh, Fred. An eyewitness has just reported the bus driving erratically on Waterview Road. What are you doing? This time they're not getting away. Is that it? Yeah, the number 83. Sierra Oscar from this Sierra Oscar. We're going to lead the pursuit. We have eyeball on the bus. Repeat, you eyeball want on the bus. Off. Water you road. Sierra Oscar. Sierra Oscar. Sierra Oscar. Sierra Oscar. Sierra Oscar. Let Sierra 1 take over the pursuit. Just as the situation's under control, the cavalry are at some speed there. There's a golf round! The game is up. No way! Just keep driving! The buses aren't meant to go this fast. Come on. Don't listen to them. Is anybody in there? Anything. Right, is that the last of them? Yeah, that's it. I want to kill someone in a minute. Slow down! Don't slow down! It's going too fast for that corner. Sierra Oscar from Sierra One, turning left at speed into Crane's Waterway. Oh, parked car, he's just missed us. Oscar, this is India 99. All the exits are covered by police vehicles. Over. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar. What's your location? Turning into 20 man walk. Over. Traffic allaying a stinger at the end of the road. We've just had confirmation from the chopper that all the surrounding roads are covered. Received, Sierra Oscar. Well, this has to stop them. Well, if it doesn't, we better hope they run out of petrol. Come on, Brian. Come on. Come on, you're all right. That's it. That's it. No There's a train! There's a police! Which one? Well, I don't, don't know! Heck is that noise? They've got a chop on us! You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, Brian. Come on, come on. That's it. Watch us! Careful, you've got Ben!
step back put the gun down. Well, just do as he says. If I don't put it down, TJ! What's wrong with you, man? Don't see my knees! I need my hand down now! I don't want to run! Come on, put the gun down. You're going to get yourself shot. I don't want to die today. Oh, my God. It's around me, man. Man, they're going to shoot me. They're going to kill me. Put it down. No, I didn't mean to shoot me. Please, you've got to tell them that. I know. I know. I'll vouch for you, all right? You do that to me. You're not a killer. You made a mistake. It's an accident, I swear. Just give me the gun. Okay. I have possession of the gun. The suspect no longer has the gun. No longer in possession of the gun. That's it, that's it, I I'm a trained nurse. I'm as best to get to the ambulance to get here. Are you okay, Reg? Let's take it from here. Well done, Reggie, babe. I was a bit worried there for a minute, that way. Oh, yeah. No, he stopped breathing. CPR, can you do the breath test? What are you doing? You really shouldn't be here. It's okay. All this time, I imagined what it would be like if we met. All the things I was going to say to him. And what happened? I realised it won't change anything. It won't bring her back. I should never have doubted you. You weren't so far wrong. When I went to see Randall earlier, I didn't know how I was going to react. A big part of me wanted to hurt him. But you didn't? No. I finally faced my demons instead. I've done what I had to do. I'm ready, Polly. I'm ready to die. Oh, please think about what you're saying. I'm not going to argue about this. Yeah, but how can you be so sure it's the right thing to do? I'm as sure as I can be. But you could have so much more time. Maybe. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. You're talking about ending your life. Then how can you be so matter-of-fact about it? I shouldn't have expected you to understand. Wait, I do understand more than you think. What do you mean? I tried to kill myself once. I took an overdose. I think he might have saved that fella's life. Mind you, you couldn't have done it without me, the kiss of life. Never knew you were that way inclined. Pretty good score, that, mate. Mm, it's us. You realised how precious life is. You chose to live because that was the right thing for you. For me, it's to die. Is dying a choice? I think so. I just wish I could do something. You know, change things somehow. I used to think like that. But now I've really accepted what's going to happen to me. I I feel relieved. Come on. Let's get out of here. 
You answered when? Tonight. I want it to be tonight. How you doing? I've finished. The CAD incident log for the bus. Could you please take it away from me and give it to Inspector Gold? Sure. Thanks. You've had quite a day, haven't you? Yeah, I've had better. Do you fancy those gloves after work? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Lovely. Mm -hmm. Looking a bit pleased with yourself? Well, you've got a strike when your arms up, haven't you? Meaning? Well, Kerry's single now. Don't want to miss me chance, do you? Hey, Smithy's confident. Reckons now you're single, he's in there. Does he now? I think that's everything. I hate leaving you. Anyone else would have left long before this. But you've been a great friend. You don't know how much that's meant to me. I'm gonna miss you so much. Now go, please. Go! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you through this. I'm scared, Polly. Smithy! Oh, very smart. No, nah, not really. I just came as I was. Well, you look nice. Cheers. Look, I'll come round. What do you want? G'day, Sarge. You don't mind, do you? I mean, you didn't think it was just the two of us. Of course not. Can you pass me the syringe? How's it feel, Keanu? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go with the bar, get you another drink. What do you want, mate? Oh, another half, please, sir. You better speed your way to the bar. Yeah. Like it, like it. So how would you get this uh, TJ to give himself up? Well, you know, I've got my secrets. Well, I think you were very brave. Oh. He's a stud, isn't he? Ah, but I mean, normally you just go on and buy a ticket, don't you? <laughs>
looks like he's in agony. I don't know. You're not going, are you? Yeah, yeah. I'm just feeling a bit knackered, that's all. Oh, come on, it's Regis' finest hour. You can't leave now. Lucky Reg. Yeah, that's just fancy a quiet drink. Yeah, well, it's fine. 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 This wasn't a day, you know. Like, what happened between us was just a bit of fun, I think you realise that. Well, of course I did. It's a total fun. Why is he leaving so soon? Troubles happened. You missed your football, eh? Doesn't matter. I just wanted to make sure Brian was going to pull through. Yeah, he'll be all right. You got a real fan there. Eh? Talk about when I and the eyes are smiling. Don't be stupid. I saw the way he looked at you. The state I'm in. I think you're great. I didn't mean anything by that. I was just... I've got to go. Next time on The Field. Oh, it's dead. And I was there. Polly. Even stop him. This is Dougie Pritchard. I have some information which Matt gave me about the father of your daughter. Can't lie, Kathy. We're police officers. If we don't tell the truth, who will?